right, this is Killer J here. Uh, so how's Perfect World here? Yes, sir. And today, right. we're, today we're doing Gears of War 5 High Busters DLC for the Xbox One and the Xbox Series S and X. Sure. So, so what do you have to say? Mm -hmm. This DLC, uh, man, this place looks fucking destroyed. I am thinking this is Gears. Everything is fucking destroyed in Gears. For so, sure. Uh, yeah, fucking rest in peace those palm trees. I know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't have much to say other than the environments look cool. They are. They, they are pretty cool. cool. And the look fucking scary. Look badass. There's one of the jubies there. Yeah. Uh, what else can I say about this game? This game is pretty fun there. I, I enjoyed right. the story mode. There's some pretty cool stages in this game. A lot of cool stages there. I actually found it to be way better in the Gears of War 5 campaign than the main campaign. Uh, I, I see. I like this one a little better there. Well, that's good, you know. Always good that they improve, you know. That's great. And there's some stages in the game where you're fighting on like a, like a stage where it's like lava. It's pretty crazy, though. Oh damn! That sounds fucking badass. I know it is. Right. It is a fucking badass stage, though. By the way, it is. And uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is, General Hoffman's back in his story mode. He's on a wheel. He's on a wheelchair. He's a little older. He's older now. He's on a wheelchair, basically. He's you know he's aged since. The total calm. Uh, he's more useful than Cole Khan. Cole Khan just went out, Cole Khan went out like a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. That's okay. Cole Khan kind of went out like a bitch when he, Cole Khan went out like a bitch when he was in a wheelchair. He got jobbed out big time. John John Hoffman, he's a tough and gears gears veteran or whatever, just tough soldier in general because he's old, he's a lot older because he is in the wheelchair because he's older, not because he lost a fight to Shaw Khan or anything like that. There. Yeah. He's Joe Swanson from Family Guy. God, I'm making awful weird chair, chair jokes today. Um, I know. I so that. This new environment that you showed up, this looks like something from fucking Doom. I know. It is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff there. I, I, like, I like this stage. It's pretty nice there. So what was your favorite stage from the DLC? My favorite... My favorite stage is the one with the lava stage. That one was pretty cool. I like that stage. Uh, cool. And, uh... That was my favorite stage was the lava stage, basically. I like several of the stages in the game. The story was pretty good there. It was, you get it on Game Pass, but, you know, Game Pass is pretty good. Better than PlayStation Now there. That's one thing I give Microsoft props for. They got a good, good, good Game Pass okay. service there. Yeah, that's something I would give him credit for, definitely. I like the story mode. I like the story. It was good. You know, basically, your Scorpio team, you're a new new, uh, new soldier is fighting in the game, basically. I know it's a good game there. Uh, I, I, I do like it there. I do like the stages there. And I'm going to have some more surprises coming up pretty soon there. A lot more surprises there. Sweet. Yep. It's nice, sir. So, so what's what else can I say about this game? You know, sound audio is pretty good. You know, gameplay is pretty fun. I got used to the gameplay this time around. I feel like it's a little better than okay. Gears of War Five because Gears of War Five took me a hard time to adjust. But this one here, I adjusted easily easier in this one. Gears Five was tough there. This one here, I was doing pretty good. I was uh, getting past the boss. There was like a big bird there, a big bird boss. It was pretty cool there. Pretty cool stuff. I know. What else can I say about this game? You know, what well, what do you have to say? I don't have much to say. Other than that, it looks good. But what would you rate it? 
Well, when I rate it, I'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Seems like a fair score. Yeah, this is the stage I was talking about, Welch. You see the stage here? Oh, yeah. The, oh, God, that looks badass. Yeah. How literally. Oh, yeah. I'm watching the last block. I'm watching the last blockbuster on Netflix, sir. It's a uh, it's like a doc it's like a documentary movie. I'm watching that right now. Huh? I see. I'm watching that currently, there. You know, I like I like the lava stage. It's pretty cool. You're fighting on a rock. You're fighting jubies. You know, different swarm en different swarm en enemies there. I like the stage. And come up next, you know, I'm gonna have a review done with uh, probably Jacob Schooner. Nice, cool. You're getting him on a review. Yeah, he's gonna be on there. But this is the after after this is gonna be review up first. Then his review. All right. So it's gonna be a little change up there. I can't wait, man. Yeah. He already reviewed Soul Calibur Six with me a while ago there. I reviewed Soul Calibur Six and I'm gonna review DMC Five there. So. Uh, yeah, I get, like I said, I get 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to finish up the commentary. How long is it there? Okay, a minute 51 seconds there. Still there, Welch? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Good. Good stuff, man. Okay, uh, well, what else was I going to say? You know, go buy, this, go buy this DLC. Even if you have the Xbox Series S or X or Xbox One. Whatever Xbox you have, go buy it there. You're not gonna you're not gonna regret it because it is a pretty fun DLC there. Especially with some of the stages alone, even that lava stage alone is worth a purchase there. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually very impressed that Microsoft has managed to get back up somewhat. They're not perfect, but that, the fact that they're still able to fucking walk after that awful E three in twenty thirteen is amazing. Yeah. And now they got Bethesda part of their brand, so you might see Doom on Xbox there. You might. Doom and uh, w Doom and Wolfenstein and Dishonor and all those other games there. Even Elder Scrolls 2 probably. I mean Skyrim 2, not Elder Scrolls. I was thinking of Skyrim 4. I think Elder Scrolls 4, but Skyrim Part 2 or something. Would be cool. So what's your reading on it, Welch? You get it the same or what? I guess I would. I haven't played it, so I really can't. But you know, is what it is. I'll take your word for it, dude. I will. Awesome. I might yeah. review Astral Chain coming up, priests coming up in the future. Astral Chain for the Switch. Ah. Indeed. Okay. Peace out. See ya.